Hey. You know how we were created, and you know what the breath of life consists of. That's the creator himself. No, now, sir. Now, listen. No, sir. Hold on. I got you, bro. Listen. Supreme. The brother said, hold on, hold on, real quick, real quick, all right? Um, and I don't mean to cut you off. My apologies, but I want to give it back to the officer, right? The Read this again. I, what I want you to understand, he said that we have, the Lord has made you and all the brothers, all our, all our people, he made us watchmen, right? Right, that's what he said, right? But what he's, what he's actually saying and what he means is, first you have to do something, or first you have to align yourself with something so that you can successfully or efficiently be that watchman, right? Because it's, it's, it's nothing worse than a watchman that doesn't watch, right? Right. That's useless, right? Watch this. Let me show you something, Supreme. Read that again. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. So it says, son of man, I have made thee a watchman. Now, that's contingent upon something, right? That means that he's a watchman because, who is this? Right here that he reading, Ezekiel the prophet, right? Ezekiel the prophet. So who taught Ezekiel? The Creator, the, the Most High God taught Ezekiel, right? He gave. He said. He said. Well, he's going to tell you who taught him. But I want to make sure that you that you track him, right? Watch this. So he said, read it again. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. He say he made you a watchman. That's right. You don't make yourself a watchman. That's right. The Lord makes you a watchman. Now that's contingent upon this. Read on. Unto the house of Israel. Unto, so you're watching out for the house of Israel, which you are. That's your people, right? Go ahead. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. So whose mouth are we to hear the word at? The creator's mouth. The Lord's mouth. Right? Read it again. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. So hear, with the, hear the word of the Lord. Hear it. Go ahead. And... Give them warning from me. Then once you hear, once the Most High God is done with you, now you can tell them what he told you. Right. You're going to repeat to the people of Israel what the Lord told you. Right. That's what makes you a watchman. So it's not our different ideas and our different lifestyles and our different opinions. The Lord don't give a damn about none of it at all. Right? That's how it is that my brother Supreme can come up here and we're talking about this here Bible, and some things you know, but I'm, I can assure you, we can show you some things out here that you don't know, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with not knowing. Right. It's nothing wrong. Not, we we can, we, except we admit that we don't know. We cannot learn, right? So we have to admit that, so we can get, we can gain more understanding, right? That's part of it. But my brother Supreme is standing here, right? Being learned by the Word of God, right? Now you spoke about differences in. Um, um, you said, depending on, uh, to, to remind me again what you said as far as what makes us a watchman. I mean, what you just said. I mean, you know, everybody has an assignment, you know. Right, everybody and, has and an assignment. That's it, what you said, right. You know, the Creator says that many are called, but only few are chosen. Right, what does that mean? Many are called, but only few are chosen. Who called the many? Who called the many? Yeah, who called them? I mean, the creator. The creator did, right? Right. So remember what he just told Ezekiel, the prophet. Remember that, right? Go to Jeremiah 1 and 5. Remember what he just told Ezekiel, the prophet. Remember, what you're quoting is Christ. Christ said, Christ said to his disciples, many are called, but few are what? Few are chosen. What makes the few chosen and the many that was called not? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Watch this. Matter of fact, hold on to that. Go back to 3 and 17. Go back to 3 and 17. Ezekiel 3 and 17, right? Come on. Uh, right, watch this. This is what the Most High God was talking about. Many are called, but few are chosen. This is what he was talking about. Watch this. Ezekiel. Chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. So hear the word of the Lord. And give them warning from me. And warn them according to what the word of God says. Come on. Verse 18. That's everybody's assignment. I'm going to show you that too. Come on. When I say unto the wicked. So when the Lord says unto the wicked, who is the Lord speaking through? Who is the Lord to speak through? If he made you the watchman. I mean, he's speaking through, he 
speaking through whoever he chose. He, right. He, he, He's speaking through you. You the watchman. Or you, like the officer was saying, you are supposed to be the watchman. Right. So we have to learn the words of the Lord, right? And then we are to warn the people from him. Right. And when we speak, it's as the Lord speaking himself. Read it again, just in case I said something. I just made something up just now. Read it again. When I say it to the wicked, he said, when I say, so the God is saying, listen, when, when I, God, say to the wicked, but wait a minute, he just told Ezekiel, his prophet, that he's to warn the people. He's to warn the people. You familiar with a, with a, with a, um, with an ambassador? You familiar with that concept? So the ambassador speaks for who? Right, the king, right, the king's in him. Whatever the ambassador say, that's the king talking. That's the king's word right there, right? Right. So you, you, and, my, you and me, we're to be no different in that. But, the, but the, the point is that we are to give warning from him. So there's no opinions, there's no different variations, there's no differences in, in, in what I'm supposed to be saying than what you're supposed to be saying. We're all supposed to be speaking the same thing. Watch, I'm going to show you that. Read that, finish that, and then give me 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Bring it out. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. So he said, when I tell the wicked, he gonna die, right? And you don't go and warn him. Remember, he said, do what? Son of man, I have made you what? A watchman. So what you supposed to do as a watchman? Watch over the people, deliver. deliver the warn message. the people. Warn the people. You know we got that watch over the people. That's true what you said, but I want to make sure that you got the reality of what he's saying. The Lord said, you're going to live or you're going to die. So in that, you're supposed to warn the people, okay, you ain't talk, You ain't going to speak to nobody who, who don't need the word. Of, you understand what I'm saying? We in the gutter, bro. You, you, you feel me? We do horrible things out here, our people. So who the Lord sending us to? The people who are doing horrible things. And we got to warn the people, cut this stuff out. Cut it out. Or he's going, he's going to kill you. Right. The Lord is going to kill you. Now we ain't going, we ain't up in no pretty house and, 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 and a beautiful building all dressed and made up. That ain't where we at. Because that ain't the people who need us. The people who need us is our people right up in here in the ghetto. Right. right. That's who need us. That's who need the word or the warning from the Lord. That's who need us. So that's who we coming to. So it ain't about no, you come, hey, bro, God said you're doing a good job. We ain't got time for that. No, I'll come to warn you. God going to put you to death, brother. You understand? God going to put you to death. God is going to kill me if I don't tell you that. Right. Come on. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, come on. and thou givest him not warning, uh -huh. nor speakest to warn the wicked uh -huh. from his wicked way, uh -huh. to save his life. To do what? To save his life. To save his life. To save his life. We're not going to a people that don't need their life saved, brother. We're going to the people who, who's in desperate need of their lives being saved. Desperate need. Come on. The same wicked man. That same wicked man that you that you didn't warn or you warned. Come on. Shall die in his iniquity. So if you don't warn that man, he going to die. True indeed. Come on. But. His blood will I require at thine hand. If I don't warn my people, if you don't warn your people of the what the Lord said, he's going to require your blood and those who are around you that you watch remain in sin. Like, you don't know everything, Brother Supreme. I get that. That's fine. The Lord ain't got that against you. However, you know that today is the Sabbath. So if that's what the Lord gave you, that's how the Lord, the measure that the Lord is dealing with you, you need to be teaching your people. You need to be warning your brother right here. You need to be warning your brother right here. It don't matter if they want to put you to death. It don't matter because you know how niggas get when you correct them. Now they got to put some holes in you. Now they want to touch you, right? You can't give a damn about that because it's a man who can kill your body and your soul that's that right. charged you to say, go and ch check your mans over there. Right. You, you know that there's the Sabbath. He don't know though. So go and warn him, or you're going to be charged with the same crime as him. Right. When he pay, you're going to pay too. That's what the Lord just told us. Give me Jeremiah 1 and 5. Bring it out. No, 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. I'm sorry. So the point is, we're supposed to be speaking the same thing, Supreme. We're supposed to be speaking the same thing. We're supposed to, we got to stand up for our people that That's need right. us. The little that the Lord gave us. We got to stand up and we got to fix our communities. We got to fix our people. We got to hold our people accountable, not to everybody's opinion. But to the word of the Lord. That's right. I'm not talking about Christianity. I'm not talking about church. That ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the word of God.
We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.